Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the June Keys Penguin Habitat. My name's Michelle. I'm joined today with Kelly and 23 of our penguins. Now, this is their last feeding time, and so we have a lot of them coming up. We did most of the feeding already. The, we have some stragglers. I'm actually going to put the microphone behind me because Ludwig does not like the microphone, and he's about to get in the water. Never mind. Um, each penguin is pretty wary at this time of year because it is their uh, migration time. Time where they normally spend most of the time in the water and so they're not really used to being on land during this part. Now over here in front of me we have Dee and you'll notice that she looks a little bit different than all the other penguins. Well it's because she's a juvenile. There's other there's two other juveniles in the water currently. We had three offspring. We have uh, Dee, we have Cleo, and we have Wally and you can tell the juveniles because they don't have that distinctive double black band along their chest. They have a white stomach and a black back. And that's called counter shading and it's a way for them to uh, out in the wild kind of help them out when it comes to being preyed upon. Because these are a prey species. They get preyed upon by sharks, by whales, by other sea lions. And so they have to kind of try their best to camouflage in with the water. So if there's a predator underneath them looking up, because of that white belly, that will blend in with the sun and will look white up top. And if there's a predator looking down and they're underneath them, that dark back will blend in with the bottom of the ocean floor. So it's a great way called counter shading that will uh, give them another kind of heads, uh, head start in the wild. Now you'll notice that our 22 penguins that are in the water, if they perceive a threat, all of them start to dive. Now all of them do not need to perceive that threat. Only one of them needs to start the dive and then the rest will follow. It's a lot like a meerkat, whereas one will perceive a threat and all of them will take action because they don't know if something's going to get them, but they're better safe than sorry. So you'll see all of them start to swim around. Come on. Now one thing I do have to be careful of is that we have some resident seagulls and some resident uh, egrets that are wild that have found that the Aquarium of the Pacific is a great place to try to get a free meal. And you will see, there he is. I knew he was around watching me. Uh, the seagull's right up there. We have an egret that's probably over by our shorebird exhibit and they actually will try to steal the fish because especially in this type of uh, time of year the penguins are a lot more scared about their own shadow so they'll drop a fish very readily and the seagulls are there to pick it up right away and so I have to be careful when I do feed to if a penguin does drop a piece of fish that I need to pick it up very quickly or uh, the seagull get, will get reinforced for spying on us. Now our penguins get a mixture of herring and capelin, but each penguin is pretty specific to what they want to eat. Our oldest penguin, whatever, only likes capelin. Uh, most of our other penguins like herring. There are a few penguins like our youngest penguins, uh, D. Wally and Cleo, and a couple of others like Astaire and Admiral that will eat both ca capelin and herring. But for the most part, the penguins either like one or the other. They get them probably about 13 kilograms of food a day for the flock. Uh, this is their PM feed, so it's uh, they've gone through pretty much. I, don't, I have probably about another kilo left of herring. And so we always overbucket just in case we have a really hungry day, but the penguins won't always eat the same amount every day. They go in little waves, so it depends on how much work they've been doing. If there is a lot of swimming happening, they'll eat a little bit more. If there's something scary going on with the rains that we just had and the winds, we didn't have penguins eat a lot that day because they were so scared that they stayed in the water and they didn't even want to come up on deck. Our penguins do get supplemented with vitamins. They are uh, specialized vitamins for fish-eating birds, and that is something we do because when we have their food, it's all restaurant quality, but sometimes when you freeze food, it can lose some of the nutrients. And so what happens is we give them the vitamins to kind of supplement that to help them out. They get anti-malarial every other day and that's just because we do have mosquitoes this time of year and it's just again for their safety. So 
Some of the older penguins do not like their microphone. Uh, the younger penguins could care less. We've had 13 hatches uh, here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. From those 13, uh, our, our youngsters, like I said, D, Wally, and Cleo. And we've been very lucky that the penguins that we've had have been doing quite well when it comes to raising their offspring. Now, around the day 20, we do pull those chicks because they become very inquisitive. And they are not fully waterproofed at that age. And so if they do come on the deck, there is a chance that they could fall into the water. And that's not very good for them. So we put them in our nursery for the remainder of the time until they're ready to come back on exhibit. And that's great because that's where we start building our relationships with our animals. And they understand that they come to us for food. And if there's a problem, they seek us for uh, comfort. And they will actually allow us to do a lot of neat things like full body exams. We can pick them up. We can check their feathers. We can open up their mouths, check their feet with all the cooperation of the animal. So it makes it much safer, not only for the animal, but for the trainers themselves. Now the water temperature in here is quite cold. It's around 60 degrees, but you might notice that there is no ice around us. Well, these animals are found off the coasts of South America, as well as the Falkland Islands. Those are their main breeding sites. And it's nice and warm down there, but there is cold water there. So we have our normal deck. We do have a misting system if it gets too warm, but for the most part, we kind of mirror it uh, for that area of South America. So it's a nice cold pool. It's around 60 degrees, but the temperature out here can get up into the 90s, 100s, and they're happy as clams because if they get too warm, they can just pop in the water. Well, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, but I would like to say thank you all for coming to the aquarium because your admission does help us take care of all of our animals. So for myself, Kelly, and the rest of the penguins here, we hope you enjoy your day here at the Aquarium of the Pacific, and we hope to see you again real soon.